John Chow here from johnchow.com and welcome to Being Driven with John Chow. We are still on the road trip, the longest road trip in the world if you're watching my video. <laughs> road trip to Las Vegas for the Affiliate Summit. And uh, so I'm using the time to kill by making driving, being driven with John Chow videos. And for this video, we're going to talk about a uh, newbie question. Yeah, I was talking to Oscar and he said one of the most common newbie questions he get is when should I start my email list? Right. When should I start my email? I get that a lot, but too. I get that question as well. Should I, when should I start my email list? And the answer is really, really simple. You should start it from day one. Start it with your blog. And I get that kind of ties into my last episode when I talk about the only thing you should have on your blog is an opt-in page. Well, if you, if you have an opt-in page, that means you must have an email list. So yeah, start it from day one. It is extremely important to start from day one, you know, because when my blog started, I did not start the list until almost a year down the road. And and the reason for that was because when John Chow first started, it was just a personal blog to update friends and family on what I was doing. It was never meant to make any money, it was never meant to be monetized. It was just it was just a blog, a personal blog to update friends and family. And and because of that, because it was a personal blog, I did not apply my my usual internet marketing methods to it, which would, which would definitely have an email list. So, and it was, and the reason it got, I saw the email list because I was challenged to prove that you can make money by blogging and then monetize the blog and that required the email list. So, the email list did not start on the eight months down the road. Now, had I start, started my list, had I started the list from day one, my list today would be twice the size it is, it is now. So, and because of that, it had I from day one, the list would be twice as big, and conversely, my income would be twice as big as well. So this is a, this is a multi-million dollar mistake. It's a very, very, extremely expensive mistake, and one that I hope you never make, all right? So uh, when, when people ask me, what was the biggest mistake I made with my blog when I started, the answer would be, I did not start the email list from the get-go. It was a, uh, it cost me, it definitely cost me over a million dollars because of that. So it's uh, a mistake I hope you don't make. When you're starting out, when you first set up a blog, set up your email list at the same time. And it, because in the end, your email, your list is your customer base. It is your, it's your readership base, your customer base, and it's what's gonna, it's, it's gonna be the foundation that where your income comes from. And if you wait until you know your blog gets some readership or you got some money coming in so you can pay for your web posting, I mean seriously, uh, Aweber is like 20 bucks a month. Aweber has a free trial, right? They have a, well, they have a, yeah, they have a free 30 day trial. And, but seriously, it's uh, 20 bucks a month. It's, it's, it's really nothing. It's really nothing. In a big scheme of things, I mean, compared to a regular business, what's 20 bucks a month? <laughs> I mean, seriously. Yeah,